Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about representation and two flavors of themed ice cream and Walmart because if you don't know, Walmart has introduced two flavors of themed ice cream and it has caused quite a stir. Um, they introduced one flavor that is there to represent pride and another that is there to represent Juneteenth. This has a whole lot of people on, on the right wing super mad and claiming that Walmart has gone woke. Well, at least for once, this won't be a video where the whole point of it is to say, hey, that's always been woke. No, it's Walmart. It's definitely not woke. Pro tip for the right wing, if your thesis, if your idea includes Walmart being woke, you're wrong. Okay. So what's happening here? There's a perceived market for a product. A company is trying to make money by filling that perceived market. This isn't anything woke. This is capitalism. That's all it is. It seems odd to you because for a long time, it was a successful business model to be bigoted. It's not anymore. Now, it, you make more money if you're inclusive. The entertaining part about this is that most of the people I know who are in the demographics that these products are supposed to reach aren't really happy about them. Um, they see it for what it is. Just rampant capitalism that's kind of pandering. And they're not thrilled. Um, but apparently this is the new culture war. And that's really what I want to talk about. How did this happen? How did this become a topic? Somebody was walking through the grocery store aisle there in Walmart and they were attacked by ice cream? No. Somebody was walking through the aisle, looked over, saw the slightest bit of representation, and got irate, got inflamed, took a picture of it, and posted it to social media. What a sad way to live your life. You can be derailed that easily. That's, that's just horrifying. But is that really what happened? Probably not. Probably not. The reason you're going to be made fun of so much, and believe me, there's going to be jokes, and you have them coming, because you're, you're melting down over ice cream there, Snowflake. But what happened was somebody, those people who like to stoke outrage, saw it, and they saw a moment to reach into that angst and give you permission to be your worst. So they took a picture of it, they put it on social media, and they used it to stir you up because they know if they keep you angry, well, you'll keep coming back to them because they've tapped into that. They have you trained to basically live your life in a constant state of anger and paranoia that the ice cream is out to get you. It's, it's just red velvet ice cream in a different container. Y'all understand that, right? It's... Anyway. What you're dealing with here is just basic tenets of capitalism. That's it. There, there's no agenda. It's just a way for companies to make money. And I think the best course of action for y'all would be to do what, what you should do with anything that's frozen. Let it go. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.